today I'm going to show you how to set up double opt-in on your active campaign account. Now when someone gets added to your list, double opt-in makes them go to their email inbox and click a confirmation button in an email to verify that they actually want to be added to your list. That's what double opt-in means. If you do not have double opt-in set up and someone goes to sign up for your list through an opt-in form, when they sign up, they immediately get added to your email service and to your list. There are a lot of different reasons to set up double opt-in. And one of the most prevalent reasons is because it prevents bots from being added to your email list. And bots are programs that are run, they're set up to run and just crawl the web and choose email address or fill in fake email addresses in forms. I don't know why they do this. Apparently at some point they can get access using doing this method to people's websites. But in any case, when you get a bunch of bots on your email list, it can not only affect the deliverability of your emails because it looks like you have a whole bunch of people not interacting with you on your list, but with a lot of email service providers, it also means that you're going to be paying for those fake names unless you go in and clean them out quite often. Now, I will show you on Active Campaign how to set up double opt-in. If you are using a different email service and you'd like me to show you on that email service in a future tech tip how to set up double opt-in, just reply to this or put a comment below the video and let me know and I will go ahead and take care of that for you. This is a dummy active campaign account. There's not much information in here. You can see I only actually have one contact. But when you go in to create a list or a form in Active Campaign, you start with lists. Uh, you can see I have a tech roadmap. Okay, now on this tech roadmap list, uh, there we go. I will go to the form that's associated with that list. It's also called Tech Roadmap. I'm going to click on this form. Now, in some email service providers, you set you do these settings in the lists area, but in Active Campaign, you actually do it in the forms area. So when you get to the forms area on Active Campaign, you'll see options over here on these on the side tab. And when you'll say, on the form action, it will say subscribe to a list. It shows the list you want to subscribe them to. And then there's a little gear over here that says opt-in options. You click on that gear and you turn opt-in confirmation off or on. It's that simple. If you have it off, you'll see you don't have any other options here. If you have it on, it will tell you, okay, it will, or it will ask you, when they confirm, when they click the confirm button in their email, what do you want to have happen? Do you want to show them a message, which you can edit up above, or do you want to redirect them to a specific URL? So you could, if they confirmed their action way and they hit the confirm button, you could send them to a certain page on your website that gives them next steps. You could send them whitelisting instructions so that they know how to whitelist your email address so that they get all of your future emails in their inbox. You could send them to a freebie. There are a lot of different things that you can do with this confirmation action. If you want to edit your opt-in email, here you click preview and you'll see this is what mine is set up to look like on this dummy account. You can change some of this by editing. Now you can't change all of it because a lot of it is set up the way it's set up for a specific reason. Obviously you need the buttons to go to the places they go to so people will get confirmed. But you can change some of the wording here you can change this wording. You can add images much like you can do with regular emails. You just can't completely change everything or the confirmation won't work. So there will be some things in here that you won't be able to change. When you're done, you click done. And now you have double opt-in set up, but only for the form that is associated with the tech roadmap. Every time you set up a new form, you need to go over to options, go down to this gear, and you need to turn this on or off, depending on if you want single or double opt-in. If you turn this off, anybody who fills out the form on your site, bots included, will be automatically added to your site. So that's how you turn on double opt-in in Active Campaign.
I hope you found value in this week's tech tip. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. And if you have any questions or you would like to see a tech tip in the future about a specific topic, please be sure to go to Tracy at launchtechmadeeasy.com and let me know. Or pop a comment in below the video here and let me know what your question is and I'll be sure to answer it on a future episode. Bye-bye.